So we're going to get started with my guacamole. What you need is your avocados, your tomatoes, cilantro, limes, garlic. Some people use onions, but I'm allergic, so um, I don't, but feel free to. I've already juiced um, my limes, just for the sake of time, and I'll, I'll juice the last one here. I love this thing. Look at that juice. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. Okay, next you want to slice your avocados. And the way that you slice your avocados is you wanna go right here to the seed and cut all the way around. Twist. Just like that. And then you'll have a, a pit there or a seed and we're gonna use two avocados. So the more avocados you use, the more guacamole you will have, okay? Twist. There's a trick that you can take your knife and right there on the seed and then pull it out. This one's already a little um, more ripe than some other ones, so you, could, you should be able to just pluck it out, if you will. Okay, and then if you want to uh, start your own avocado tree, you could take these pits and take the skin off and then root them that way. Um, I will show you what I'm doing as it pertains to my avocados. I'm gonna grow me an avocado tree. Okay, then you want to cube your avocados. So slice vertically and then horizontally. And you wanna do that with all of them. While I'm doing that, I will tell you the best way to pick an avocado is make sure that it's not too hard and definitely not too soft, but just enough softness um, will show or tell you that it's, uh, it's ripe, okay? So we're going to cube these avocados. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to have a spoon with a nice edge on it because we're going to scoop the avocado out. Right there in the bowl. Just like that. We'll set that one to the side. Go ahead and These pretzel chips that are right here in front of me are the ones that I love to eat my guacamole with. They have all types of flavors. This one's the garlic parmesan. I also um, use the everything and they're the pretzel chips or bagel chips. They used to be called bagel chips. I'm almost positive. Well, now they're pretzel chips, but they have all types of flavors. And then we're gonna do the last avocado here. Scoop it all out. And then next you wanna take your lime juice and pour it over your avocados. This keeps it from being brown, but it also gives it a lot of flavor. I'll take this off, I'll just set this right here. Pour it right around like that so it's all saturated and then I usually stir like this just to make sure that all of the avocados have been saturated with the lime juice next you want to go ahead and chop your tomatoes I, I can use that knife but I'm going to just use a brand new knife for this and as you can see, I chop my garlic over here on this chopping board. I love my wooden chopping board and I do believe in seasoning um, your board. However, I don't like to cut my garlic on my wooden chopping board just because garlic is so overpowering that um, it'll just be too much for me. And then you want to 
got the tomato so that you don't get the seeds into your um, guacamole and the seeds make it really bitter so if you can gut those out like that we're not going to use the seeds okay and you can use as, m as many tomatoes as you like but we're going to go ahead and cut those tomatoes Before we add the tomatoes, we're going to add the cilantro as well as the garlic. And I always tell people that you want to go ahead and smash those avocados. And it's okay to leave a few chunks in there. It just gives your guacamole texture, if you will. And I think I might cut one more slice of tomatoes just because I enjoy tomatoes I really really do in my salads on a good BLT and my guacamole I push them together like that and just slice right across saves you some work right until we get to this big portion here you want to make sure that you don't cut your fingers okay set that right there to the side i always have my hand towel and then best way to cut cilantro is fold it all the way up and then just slice it into small pieces oh my god stems and all the stems have the best flavor and actually the most flavor in um, the cilantro leaf plant leaf and if you want it finer then just take it and go over it one more time okay now we want to go ahead and smash the avocados up like I said you can always leave some chunks in there I will add my garlic now just because it will add some flavor in there because you're just kind of muddling it, if you will. Okay. That's good and chunky. Smashed enough, we got some pieces in there just that'll give it the texture that we want. Right? Okay, now we want to go ahead and add our cilantro and our tomatoes. And I always turn the guacamole. What I mean by that is I don't smash it anymore. Once you get the tomatoes in, you want to just stir and turn and stir like that. Okay, and then you want to add some different seasonings i always use my tony saturates because i love to have a little kick i also will use some cayenne and just some cayenne and my secret weapon is your slap your mama so you can use one of the two unless you like it really spicy like i do <clears throat> and then my secret weapon is my cumin <clears throat> and I usually use about a fourth of a teaspoon, but I don't have uh, my measuring spoons out. I like to eye it. Always do, right? And then this is really good from Costco. It's the organic no salt seasoning. Take that around like that. Give it a good stir. All these flavors, the cayenne is in my nose, but good no matter what. <clears throat> and then I do something really um, interesting that people don't know. I do just a little dab of sugar and it just brings out the flavors. And then there you have it. I usually allow the guacamole to sit 
for about an hour just so that the flavors marry each other. You can add just a little more lime juice if you like. Like I said, this will keep your guacamole from turning brown and gives it a lot of flavor. So I will let those marry for about an hour or so, but look, look at that. Does that not look amazing? I cannot wait to dive in. Like I said, I usually let it wait for an hour, but um, I think I'm going to. Sorry, I have to. That's the best part, right? And you can see it has the, the Parmesan on there. I'm not gonna stick that in there so we don't have that cross contamination. But go ahead, put it right there on that chip and take a bite. Oh my gosh, so good. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for joining my kitchen. This is my guacamole. I'm Chi Chi Blade and have a wonderful, wonderful evening.